Hi everyone. Welcome to our learning video sessions on Microsoft Excel for Chemical Engineers. This video lesson teaches how to use Microsoft Excel software for data fitting with linear regression. Data fitting means proposing a suitable equation or a mathematical relationship for two or more variables. To fit an equation for variables, we require some set of available data for the variables. In this video lesson, let's consider the case for linear relationship of two variables. On the screen, you can see some experimental data to find reaction kinetics. The rate constant values are available at different temperatures. We know that the relationship between the rate constant and temperature is Arrhenius equation where A0 is the pre-exponential factor, E is the activation energy and R is the gas constant. You can see the modified Arrhenius equation into linear form on the screen now. If we find the linear equation in the form of y is equal to ax plus b, which matches with the experimental data, we can find the values for pre-exponential factor and activation energy. So let's first fit this data into linear form using Microsoft Excel tools. We should convert the available data for rate constant and temperature as natural log of rate constant and 1 over temperature to fit into linear form. One important feature in Excel is we don't need to enter the same calculation for a set of cells. Instead, we can quickly apply the same calculation for other data by just dragging the cross mark in the first cell. Now we have the data having a linear relationship. First, let's plot the scatter diagram for this data. We learned how to create a scatter diagram for any set of data in our fourth video lesson. So we select the data and insert the scatter diagram. This scatter diagram is in the negative y-axis and it requires some axis formatting for better looking. So let's apply some axis options accordingly. Now we can see a much better scatter diagram. The next step is to fit a curve for this scatter diagram. We can right click on the data point and click add trend line option. You can see that Microsoft Excel has some built in types of common equations for data fitting and regression. For the moment, let's select linear option. Then check the boxes to display the equation and capital R squared value on the chart. Then click close. We can see the linear fitting for the data on the scatter diagram. The equation is in the form of y is equal to ax plus b. So we understand that the coefficient of x is the term minus capital E over capital R. And the constant value in the equation is 
the natural log of pre exponential factor. So we can find the activation energy and pre exponential factor values by a simple calculation. The important value in linear regression is R squared value. It means the root mean square value for the data fitting into linear form. R squared gives us a measure on how good the data fitting is. If R squared value is closer to 1, the data fitting is good. If it's closer to 0, the fitting is not acceptable. So this is how we can simply apply linear regression for data fitting in Microsoft Excel software. In this method, we can't see how the calculations are performed for the linear regression. So you might have a doubt whether this solution is correct or not. However, we can use another tool in Microsoft Excel to perform regression analysis easily. Go to the Data tab and select Data Analysis tool. In a previous video lesson, we showed you how to add in Data Analysis tool if it is not available. In the Data Analysis window, select the Regression as the Analysis tool. So the Regression window opens up. Select the input Y range and input X range from the available data in the spreadsheet. For the confidence level, let's enter 90%. For the output range, let's select an empty cell in the same spreadsheet. Then we can press OK. Now we can see a full regression analysis report including ANOVA analysis and confidence intervals. Let's format the result table for a better looking. Ok, now you can see that regression equation coefficients are equal to the previous trend line coefficients. As well, we can see the R squared value is also equal to each other. So, we can confirm that both of these methods can be used for regression analysis in Excel software. Other regression results that you see on this table can be used to analyze the distribution of the data in different ways. So, the second method is very useful. In this video lesson, you learned how to use Microsoft Excel software tools to perform data fitting and linear regression for some available experimental data. You can apply these tools for your future work in the laboratory experiments as well as other work dealing with data analysis. That's the end of our video lesson. Have a nice day and goodbye.